I love that you're trying new shit on the fly. <laughs> That's how we have to do it, apparently. How about how about I try this button and see what happens? Or maybe this lever could trunk. Just ah, did it. Lights off. Just did it. See if <laughs> it works out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey buddy. We are Hey on. buddy. Hey, are we on? Welcome yeah, to on. Critters in Taiwan, a DD podcast about critical role, where a bunch of nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. I'm uh Ben and Gao Shang. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. I forget my name sometimes. <laughs> I am Tim and Tai Jung. Are, are you sure? I think uh, so. And we're we're, we're a couple, couple of critters, critters in Taiwan. Taiwan. I tried to do it just like those guys I, you sent that video of. I, 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 they said it at the same time. I, I know, yeah. Well they're, they're they're practiced, man. They're practiced. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Do Dungeon we dudes, we love you guys. Yeah, um, yeah, you're you're good. You're good folks. Actually, all of you are. All of you third party guys out there standing up to the man. Fuck you, Hasbro. I love. I still like you, Watsy, but fuck you, Hasbro. Genuinely, genuinely. From from, and I know. And you created Transformers, one of my favorite toys of all time in my childhood. Still, fuck you. How could they not you're, be? I mean, you're it's, bad. It's you're bad. Car, bad. It bad turns people. into a fucking person. Yeah, Come on, exactly. It's yeah, amazing. A robot. An, uh, a, a, well, you know, humanoid. Here yeah. we go. <clears throat> Auto, um, Autobot or Decepticon. Right. Hey, and look, we're not D&D. Like GoBots either. <laughs> GoBots. I remember, remember GoBots. GoBots. I, of course I do. Yeah. Channel 5. They came on oh, instead yeah. of Transformers. I remember that. Uh, I like GoBots. They were cool. There's the F1 was the leader, the jet. Yeah. And the gray uh, jet guy. Yeah. Turbo, I think, was the red motorcycle one or the red car. It was like the, he was he was the bumblebee for the for the Gobot universe. Oh man, yeah, my brothers and I we always have to it's choose terrible. the one that we are. You know, my older brother always had to be the leader, so he was Turbo, I suppose. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, hey, tonight we're talking about episode number forty-five. Of Gobots. <clears throat> Wait, cool. should we restart? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> episode campaign three, episode number forty-five, ominous lectures. Okay, yeah, yeah, on the nose these days. Yeah, I, I got <clears throat> Actually, I didn't write it down, but I have a, a bit of a thing <clears throat> to say about that. I meant to bring it up like two episodes ago, but okay, mm, yeah. Um, good episode. Oh, uh, quick little fantastic uh, episode. Uh, it was not, a really good one. Sell that short. This this was a really good episode of a of a of a little bit of um like uh, theater of mind stuff with some lore and a lot of uh, uh, um, honestly this these these episodes are the reason why Matt Mercer is one of the greatest DMs uh, out sake. there for his beautiful descriptions of everything. Yep, and his Just, portrayal of ugh. a brand new fucking character out of nowhere. <laughs> And the way he, like, you know uh-huh. that he does how he acts behind a mic. You know how he does it, you know? Just, like, watching him on this episode. Did you, uh, like, I, I wrote this down. I guess we'll just jump right into it now. But, because I won't bring, I won't bring this up. But at, at, I wrote this down. At an hour and 19, Laura was so, I'm assuming we're talking about the uh, professor here. Yes. That, that character, right. So what he was do what he was doing Can't with his do teeth, yeah. and he was setting his lower jaw and bringing something. Laura was was was. I don't know if you caught this or not, but Laura was the other character. The other characters, the other um, <laughs> cast. They were all sitting there going, oh, "This is fun." This is. They were laughing and giggling, but Laura was mimicking him and oh. <laughs> tr- and trying. She was like. Uh, uh, I, like like doing the Jim Carrey muscle jaw <laughs> stuff that she was, and at one point at an hour, I I, I wrote it down because an hour and twenty, she she was like Matt, how are you doing that? <laughs> like she she full on was like, how are you doing that with her and the teeth and the whole thing and 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 Matt was just like, like yeah, it's a and then and then Ashley was like. Yeah, Hundreds of hours later, and you still amaze us and still come up with these amazing things. It's just, yeah, yeah Ashley. Yeah. How is there another character we haven't seen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry if that crosses something Ooh. off your list, but you know. no, it does. It doesn't. It, it, I mean, it's just the thing that I wrote down. I was like, this. This is Laura was. It was. It enthralled me watching Laura staring at him. And doing these, like <laughs> she's like her best, his best I, student, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I loved it. It was. It was wonderful. I wonder anyway. if that uh, just quick thought, you know, like with an attractive woman like Laura, if she doesn't really like to distort her face when she's like doing voiceovers mm-hmm. or recordings, you know. 
if no. that's more of like a dude thing because we're a little bit less concerned. That's a blanket statement, you know. Fucking get in touch if you think I'm fucking full of shit here. But <laughs> you know, it's uh, like hey, I'm a pretty girl. I don't want to make myself less pretty for a role. I don't know, man, but whatever he was doing, like a front teeth like I were okay. Man, he's still gorgeous. Uh, I don't I don't know how he was contorting. He actually was making his cheeks his 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 front lip went up yeah. and his cheeks went in and the the right jaw were like yeah it became angular uh -huh. there was there was there were there were lines it was like it was the, the green litter pie you know like <laughs> right here it's like you had this thing and then this like straight lines right here uh, and the teeth were out yeah and, yeah it was cool it was it very was, cool it was quite good and that one time that he says like uh you mind if i fuck around a little bit but he had mm -hmm. his teeth on so it sounded kind of like an f like it kind of sounded and they were all yeah, like you mind if i what no, <laughs> yeah. poke around oh, okay. poke around <laughs> poke around <laughs> it was a good what a what a lovely character i i love uh, listen man gotta remember a uh, campaign two um uh pumat pumat soul was also a fur bulk. Yep. And now this one, the Furball, they're, they seem to be they're wonderful little character NPCs to for him to portray. Yeah. In this uh, in this uh, universe, I suppose, mm -hmm. like it seems like all the Furballs, they had uh, n not Nala. What was her name? Nyla. 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 That doesn't Nyla. sound right. Yeah. Nyla. Nyla. Not Nalia. Nyla. Nyla. Nala. Uh, Som Somali. Som Somali. Somali. Yeah. So yeah, Sumali's character, right? Yes. Yeah, I Nyla. It was Nyla. Nyla? I'm pretty sure it was Nyla. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Whatever. I, I know I, who I, you're talking about. I know I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. I really feel like you're wrong. Get in touch, everybody. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what that's for. That's what it's the YouTube Nala, comments are fucking, for. Uh, Lion King. But this was this was this was a um, no. That's Nalia. The 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 the. Um, this was a really good episode. It was yeah. fun. There was a lot of lore. <laughs> there was a lot of a uh, lot of theater mind stuff. The um, the Feywild fuckery, man. Ooh, that was that was dark and fun. Uh, but that, we, yeah. before before we get too um, too deep into the woods here, <clears throat> the weeds, the weeds in I the have woods. A suggestion. Uh oh. Because this die has been shitty this whole time. Oh, do you yeah, have two die? I do. With you at the moment. Uh, no, but uh, there's some right over there. I can go get one. Or you're, I'm proposing that we both roll with advantage because oh. I want to see which oh. die just rolls okay. better. Let me just walk over to the other room and sure. I'll get a one. Are you second. wearing pants? Oh, of course. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't wear pants. Well, I'm ever. Are you wearing sleeveless pants? <laughs> That's what they're called in this in this part of the world. Either short pants or no, they don't call them sleeveless pants. It's full, I'm full of shit. It it just happens that I I have another. 35 mil. Uh, oh, look at you. I've got two. This is my smoke dice. This one is like a, um, it's, You're I don't evil. know. Evil. You, That's your. Yeah. It's slightly translucent. It's kind of opaque. Horn of orcas um, dice. Yeah, and this is the, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll roll these two 35s and see what happens. We okay. roll with it. We're rolling with advantage. We're rolling with advantage. I just want to see how these dice compare I'm gonna be with each other. I'm going to roll in 20s all night here. Oh, for fuck's sake. You I just want to do it at least this one time. Okay. Oh, man. Let's go. Yeah, my greenie is Top. fucked. Nineteen. Nineteen. I got a sixteen on the on the uh on the bluey. So your your little your four dice is not uh it it has not been performing. Mm, that's you hard. Know? I wouldn't mind doing one or two, maybe next time with disadvantage. Okay. All right. I'm I'm gonna start off then, if I'm assuming I win this one. Um I'm gonna start off with a uh a, a, a point that I noticed at, at this part. This is where this is this is the point in the campaign, and it's happened. I think it happens in every campaign. Uh, I think this is just a, a product of Dungeons and Dragons and, and playing long campaigns. They are level eight, correct? Um, I believe so. They. I think this is the point in these campaigns at these mid levels now, where they start collecting a lot of friends and allies um, to handle all the shit that they can't. So they're 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 they don't have a facing, home, right? You know. Well, that's also that's also a thing. But I I feel like like Plane Rider Rin coming in here uh, is exactly the same thing that happened with Essek, where it's like, oh, we can't do these things. We need somebody to come in and do it. Um, in Campaign One, 
Um, I'm, that was Allura, I guess, or maybe Gilmore. Probably more Allura than more Allura. Gilmore. As far as the the, the assist, and shit, yeah. assisting and stuff, Kima and, and Allura, that would be like the. This is this is the point where they start collecting and level the, these mid levels, and I, I think that's what what we're seeing is that the the bosses or the the adversaries or the problems, the puzzles, whatever, are a little bit too difficult. And they've just collected enough friends now that they can sort of balance those things out. So that's sort of my that's sort of my observation, what's happening right now. Hmm. Um with where the, they can call in the favors, you know. Right. They have well, enough whatever, of a report to Yeah, whatever whatever that whatever however you want to phrase it, it's sort of like you've you've got enough allies, you've got enough friends, you've got people that are willing to help you out. They are the ones that will help solve these problems you can't figure right. out. Right. Perhaps trusted companion to use the terms that apparently are mm -hmm. relevant to FCG. They have sure. Sure. elevated to this level now so we can actually yep. call in a favor. That's right. As That's opposed right. to it's like, hey, my name's this in episode one and then mm -hmm. like 50 episodes later and be like hey we need you to do this and then we're like yeah i know you good enough yes of course sure we can yeah. figure something out yep 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 huh so across campaigns yeah i mean i think it's i think it's just i think it's just a thing that happens in D D because in our in in my um uh curse of strahd campaign they're only level five yeah, they just got to level five, and they're about to meet. Oh no, it's, still, it's not going to happen for a while yet. They're gonna they're gonna meet their companion probably in a couple more levels. So I think it's gonna it might happen around the same time, seven or eight or nine. Uh, no, yeah, about that, about seven or eight. So I think it's just sort of a product of what happens in D and D that it just kind of you you meet your you meet start meeting allies at that point because things you're not quite powerful enough to handle the bosses, but you're 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 still faced with their those dilemmas and their roadblocks that they're throwing up. Mm. So, yeah. Huh. So like not just this campaign or these campaigns, but no, I think the, it's, I think it's, team. I think it's just a function of the way these long campaigns work. Or it's kind of cool. Cause whatever. I've never really seen yeah. that other than these three examples. I, I didn't, I didn't really realize it until now. And I was sort of, I sort of was like, Oh yeah, maybe that's a thing. Maybe there is a, maybe that is a thing that happens across campaigns across as a product of D and D that you reach a point where you just, you need help. Yeah, and I guess as a DM like yourself, you know, something to keep in mind, mm -hmm. you know, like sometimes they can't do shit by themselves. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe there's an the, ally somewhere that can give them a favor. Strahd, Strahd is unique because um, it's sort of in that regard, it's it's real uh, horror. Like it is, right. it is, it is sad. They, a lot of things they're not supposed to win a lot at all. <laughs> they're supposed to lose a lot. It's it's a very very dark, uh, depressing campaign. So it's it, they, things don't, they they haven't had a lot of wins I yet. Mean, they've had a they've had a lot <laughs> of losses. They they're, they they just had a big win, um, and they're about to clean out a winery, which is a really big deal. But they um they they're about to face another aspect of this that's going to be a big 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 loss for them. It's spoiler not, alert! Spo spoilers! I don't, they're, they're not. They're not watching. Attention. If you they already know everything. Just everything. Did. I've no. I've warned them about our upcoming session. It's not going to be pleasant. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's good because it is a game, and we're we're it is a game. up to have fun. That's you know? right. That's, well, but, they they wanted this one. I warned them at session zero. <clears throat> I was like, "Listen, here's the list. It's not good. It's like going to a going to a movie. You know, kind of what movie you're going into. You don't just like, like roll the dice and go into some random movie. Or I remember I was in high school, and I I was at. Uh, uh, we, me and my buddies, or not high school, sorry, university. And I went into uh, with my buddies, my roommates in university. Uh, I think this is first year, so this would be like mid nineties. Uh, and we went to we went into the theater to watch Titanic. And uh, I might be getting this wrong. It might be the dates might be wrong, but I remember there was an older, an older lady, a few rows in front of us crying when the iceberg when the titanic hit the iceberg and we all just like <laughs> we burst out laughing like wait you didn't know you you didn't know so it was like yelling no no <laughs> yeah it was it was wild it was wild i was like wait wait what how did you okay all right i think it's one of the common tropes that came out after that movie which yeah. is like you know so after it hits the iceberg and it sinks like yeah don't spoil it <laughs> come on <laughs> uh anyway um, off topic here uh your yeah, turn your yes the theme of the day yeah i guess yeah. i'm gonna yes and with like my notes are not in chronological order but mm. i'm gonna i'm gonna say this i usually don't say this about 
uh, oh. voice actors at the table. But why the fuck is Liam saying doll ass? He knows this character from the last campaign. Yep. Very familiar with them and the server's mm-hmm. assembly. And then in this campaign, in this in this episode, he's saying doll ass. And even Matthew's sitting there saying Daleth, you know, and uh, Mar- Marisha's over there, Daleth, and he's going Daleth as oh. a fucking Orem. Did you catch this? Uh, nope, I it did was not. bothering me. Nope, didn't I mean, notice. I mean, it is, it's D A apostrophe L E T H. So it okay. is Daleth. Be- but because he said Daleth, I spelled it with an O in another note that I had uh, no, here. It's, it's, it's D A apostrophe L E T H. Daleth. Seems like he's doing it on Daleth. like almost like uh, trying to get a rise out of out of mm. people like well, himself. He fucking succeeded. He did this. He Liam's that. I mean, yeah. He's remember, so remember good, when? Though. Like, <clears throat> remember in campaign two when the when the the Crin and yeah, he yeah, was yeah. calling them. He Sounds was like calling it Korean. Korean. <laughs> Sound like you're saying Korean? Yeah, it was Korean, 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 like, green with a, with green. a slight rush of German accent. It sounds uh-huh. kind of like Korean. You know, or I don't. I can't do it, but yeah. The I think I I don't know. I didn't catch it, I, so I'm not Isn't, sure what you're oh, talking about. Man. Nope. Yeah, I don't know why he's like. It, it, it escapes me because I'm pretty sure he was saying Daleth in the last campaign. Pretty sure. So is this a fucking choice, or is like I I want to is is his Orem's Orem's a pretty neutral voice. He's not a uh, he's he's more, a little on the uh, the what's the the the, the tenor register. what's the what's the the, the, the baritone and then. Tenor oh, alto, the, alto, alto, a little on the alto side, maybe because he's a halfling. Yeah, but uh, just a smaller larynx or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I know. But like, yeah. Know. So then he would say Daleth versus Daleth. <laughs> he's saying Daleth. They didn't catch Daleth. it. Daleth, Ludinus oh, Daleth. All right. Yo, Daleth. Well, it's gonna be a mystery then until All right. until it, another four set of dive comes up or something. You know? Hey, I had an idea. What's up? Mm. That's some- some ginger stuck release. in my teeth. Let's do disadvantage. Uh, let's, damn it! You stole my thunder. I was just gonna say let's do disadvantage. Well, I said it once earlier. Well, you said advantage. Let's do disadvantage. No, I said next time we should do disadvantage. I call bullshit. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> now this time my green dice should win. <laughs> hey, I, I rolled I, a thirteen and a two. I rolled an eight and a four. Mm. So I get I, yeah disadvantage. So I I got this one. No. Well, wait. Yes, yes, yeah. you do. Because he takes the right. lower of the two. Take the lower number and your lower number. I was thinking that whoever rules the lowest number, with, but no, that's not how disadvantage works. Right. <laughs> I got confused I for a second to, too. <laughs> I know how to play D and D. derp. And then, as expected, on the bluey, I got an eight. And on the greeny, okay. I got a four. You got a four. So, you, so, still, so yeah. far, this fucking fjord die is fucking me over. <laughs> uh, um, well, technically, it won there for you. So. But uh, your what was your other die? What was two? Thirteen and a two. Thirteen and a two, right? So you're, you're still ba- you're, you're still winning. Um, shit. I mean, I was gonna say something last time. Uh, I'll just throw it in right now, and it's not necessarily the point. Last last episode, there was a uh, one of the two last episodes that we talked about last time. There was an advantage versus just take the lower roll. That they discussed that at one point. I don't remember what one point it was, but uh, Ladna silver, had said it. Silvery barbs. So the the word, the phrasing the of wording, silvery yeah. barbs, the phrasing of that spell, which is a which is a, uh, uh, not Tasha's. It's might be from Tasha's. No, it's from the one after that. I forget. It's one one of the very new books that just came out last year. Um, it says. The it doesn't it says roll an roll another d twenty and take the lower of the two rolls. It right. does not say roll with this advantage. So it's a it's a phrasing thing. Uh-huh. That's all it was. It was like you you don't roll with disadvantage. So the the idea is if you're rolling with advantage, so you roll two dice and then it's like silvery barbs, and then you have to roll another d twenty and take the lowest of all of those rolls. Okay. If you're rolling with disadvantage, and the and it's like I rolled disadvantage, silvery barbs. Okay. Now you have to roll another d20, so it'd be three d20s if it was advantage Super or disadvantage. disadvantage. That's what that's that's my interpretation of it. I I, I think that's the word. That's what it means. But it, that may not be the intent. Again, th- these things are play tested, so they so it's hard to know what they actually are, it what the intent is. But I think this is one of those things where you just, uh, I think they, it's a homebrew, 
just it's your table rule right. it how you want to rule it yeah well it makes me think that like you know there are it's a very well thought out system you know as yeah. we know yep. Yep. but also there could be things that are overlooked as there as there sure. constantly is mm -hmm. or may, i shouldn't say constantly that's but um you know if it had said they have to roll it with disadvantage Mm -hmm. Well, that could just like maybe cancel out the advantage, so they just roll with one. But then yeah, silver revolver is a reaction, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can't go back in time and roll just one or make them roll again. So roll another one and take the lower of it's, the two results. Yes, that's different from disadvantage just by semantics. By uh, yeah, if lexicography. That word not, right. No, lexicography, not semantics. Okay. The the um, I, I it, that's a hard one. We use we all. I I'm slowly learning the difference between semantics and lexicography. I still don't know what semantics it's, really it, means. <laughs> it's tough. It's it's interpreting this exact same thing in a different way. Whereas okay. if you're I actually felt like that's using what that was, but <laughs> no, it's like it's <laughs> slightly regrets. different because what you're doing is you're actually saying two different things that are slightly comparable and then calling them semantics when it's actually lexicography. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to look those two words up. It's Shit. it's super I don't always get it right, so I again I might be getting it wrong. It's yeah. it's tricky. Like, it's everybody like, loves to say semantics because people. Yeah, but a, they, it's a common argument. You know, it's exactly. Like, oh, I, don't argue I get semantics. I get yelled at by my friends on a regular basis. Stop being so fucking stuck to semantics. I'm like, I'm not. It's I'm fucking not. lexicography. It's, a <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's It's not. It's not semantics. And they're yelling at me about how I because. I really, I get really. What's one of those things that really bugs me when somebody says, "Oh," and then everybody in the in the in the aisle all stood up, and I'm like, "Everybody, everybody, everybody stood up." They were rolling, everybody laughing. didn't stand up. They were crying, and, and they were, laughing. Are you sure? Yeah, and they, everyone, <laughs> everyone was, and they're like, "Stop being so." You and your fucking semantics. I'm like, "That's not semantics." And then they That's, say, yeah. "Stop arguing semantics <laughs> right away." <laughs> <laughs> There's no escape. Okay. All I've right. never heard the word lexicology. Is that Lex what you said? Lexicography. Lexicography. Yeah, it's. A, it, I had. To, I had looked this up. Like, it's the placement of. Yes. Yes. Graphy versus logy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Grammar. Fucking hell. Okay, some some for my my own time later. Does that count as my one, or should I bring another one up? I got some points go for, here. Go for another one. Go over do another one. Here. I, I got a. I got another one. Or I got. You got. You got time. Good time. Do not. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm so unorganized I'm, here. All this shit is. I'm not... enjoying having two dice. All right. I'm just gonna uh, because I don't want to look through this. I'm gonna go through uh, the professor's recognition of FCG mm. was refreshing. Because mm -hmm. every time up till now, like in uh, in the places they were in Marquette, uh, Drusar, it was like, oh, look at you, and it's like, oh, you know, mm -hmm. very surprised and like very much like, oh, can I yep. study you? And then, like that one person that like asked if they could have some one-on-one uh, -on -one time, eventually stopped talking to them FCG. like a person. That was uh, Hexum. That sounds right. Yeah, that they, was they in started. in the ma in her manner. Uh, yeah. She got she got really a, creepy, and she wanted to buy, almost wanted to buy. Well, FCG was like, "I'll sell. I'm, I'm for sale. You can." And she was like, "Oh!" And then they all, yeah, that that thing happened. You know, yeah. that was ambassadors. The the you got to remember that also Imahara Joe. Um, <clears throat> basically, he was the first one to talk about the care and the culling, right? He was the one that told them about the care and the culling okay. when they were in. That was, oh shit! I didn't write that down, but yeah, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, go ahead. No, 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 that's all. That's literally all. Because he was the first one to bring up the care and the culling. Right. And then uh, this professor, what's his name? I feel bad for not remembering uh, his name. Vitro Asham. He uh, basically just confirmed it. If we can, if we can say it is confirmed. Yeah. He is a professor. I believe we should take them at their I word. Think word for that it. that he is a uh, a er, harmonious aormaton. Yep, that's what they uh, said. From the the it is a very very different arcane core that is quite a bit larger, super destructive, yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah. I have a theory about that. Oh, okay. Uh, before I let you spill your shit all over that one, mm -hmm. um, I really like the recognition of it because it's kind of like there's just been so much mystery, I suppose, behind it's like, oh, we figured out he's an aormaton. All right, that's cool, yep. you know? And then yep. this person just, like, got in there and just, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> as uh, when Sam did as an actor, you know, yep. <laughs> cuffed those balls, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Made him cough. <laughs> it's like, here's what you are, here's what it yes. is. It was like a proper doctor's visit. And now he's yeah, like, totally, oh, totally. now it's cleared I mean, up. And again, again, it's we. It's still not 
100% confirmed because he's still he's just still, a professor and yeah. just working with what he knows. And if if what he knows is wrong, then it doesn't matter. It's something else. But yeah. if if we take everything that we add up, all these little clues, and we sort of say, okay, with with fair certainty, he is a harmonious aormaton that was um, used in the care and the culling. I would kind of actually like, like if uh, Matthew gave information that was wrong, but you have mm. to keep in mind, you know, this is just a professor that this is yep. their idea, you yep. know, but if but Matthew had that kind of foresight, I would be very, totally, very impressed. Totally. Uh, the, um, <laughs> the, the, the red herrings. I love, I love that shit. Yeah. I mean, we talked we talked about this last week all with, the time. Yeah. With, with Travis at the end of the episode, episode 44 saying that, yeah, man, they remember the, the cults, they're all just distractions. They're not real. They're not involved in the main plot. These are all little red herrings that don't really lead anywhere. And it's, yeah. It's, it's it's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, I will uh, I will yes end off of that one because uh, I have a sort of a theory. This is the kind of the same FCG theory, but I have another. That's a big another bigger one because we're going to talk about red herrings and uh, and little false trails. I have I they said in one of the four sided dives or in the the campaign to wrap up or at the one of the I forget. Somewhere, somewhere. I don't remember where, but it's fine. One of the talks machinas, maybe? <laughs> no, it wasn't that far back because it was about no. campaign three. About campaign three being shorter than campaign one and campaign two. This is going to be a shorter campaign. And I think that it's I think it's coming soon. I mean, we've talked about this before, and bit, I still yeah. stick to this. Yeah. I think I think what's happening is um the, the there are they haven't there are no arcs in, in the other campaigns. Every character got an arc, and there is no arc in this one. The there's individual no individual ones. Yeah. There's, there's there's no individual arcs. There's only one big one, and it's mostly focused on Imogen, which is a big shift for these for this cast for this crew, um, and and that is I think a conscious choice, as a direct result of the. The the I think that they planned out EXU calamity before this campaign started, and I think Matt was like, "All right, if that's how EXU calamity is going to go, then I'm going this way with campaign three, and it's going it, it's it's all going to meet in the right. in a, in a point, come to a head, and it's going to be fucking gnarly, and there's going to be a critical role 2.0. That's that's sort of my my I've been saying this for a while, but I think that that's kind of this is this is coming becoming more and more obvious that nobody is getting an arc that everything is going to be sort of focused on one character which is imogen which is about ruidus which is about Pradathos, which is about the end of exandria mm. which it makes sense like uh why campaign three feels so different from the first two campaigns exactly exactly i've seen people like you know uh, uh, lash back at, about that. It's like, why does this one feel so less personal? Like, I feel like I yeah. don't know the characters as much. It's like, yep. it's not like, oh, this is the Ford arc. This is the Veth arc. This is the, right. you know. Right. <clears throat> I, I feel like, I also feel like they're not doing themselves. They're, they're, it, it fits right into the whole thing about them pre recording, only doing three a month, taking a week off every third, every fourth, every third, so whatever. Three and, and then one and then three and then one, whatever. Or there and, and, and you know, the fuckery that's going on. I, we're off next week. Yeah. Um, this week. Uh, whatever. The 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 whole that whole thing, not doing any live shows, um, doing all of this stuff. It's right. all sort of it's all kind of fitting. They had done I think they had done forty we're at forty five. So they had done one, maybe two live shows at this point. They just yeah. uh, maybe just one, maybe just one, maybe the pirate one. Uh, the Gen Con one. Uh, I mean, the, in the first, I don't know. I don't. I don't have my numbers. <clears throat> Saying the definitely first campaign, second campaign. Because in the first campaign, they had the one where they're all just like in this line right there. That's when yeah. uh, Vixalia got her title. You know, right? Like that's right. That's right. And then they, but that was much later. And then, but at, but at this point, they had done the pirate arc, and that was when they did a lot. I think they did their first live show was the pirate arc, and that was in the thirties, right. I believe. Um, cause remember they all wore pirate costumes Yeah, and they all came up on it. And then Sam was the, the sailor little fucking, yeah. Yeah. He was, he finally got the memo for that one. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> the, but yeah, that, so I, I think anyway, I think it all is sort of playing in, um, the, the other little cultural aspect of this is that they are in California and we know that LA has some 
of the strictest um, uh, COVID stuff going on. They're still like fully uh, not Taiwan not locked down, but it's yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, different. Little, it's different there. A little there. overboard at this point. A little perhaps, overboard. Yeah, you know, a lot of people. A lot of people there. Yeah, it's it's California is its own fucking country. Uh, anyway, that's that's my point. That's what I got. All right. Uh, uh, we do, wait, what are is we that doing? Yes, and for me now. No, that was you. You that won. Your, remember? So, okay. yeah. are we rolling advantage or disadvantage, or just straight roll? Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I would like the green one to win one of these times. Should we go back to advantage? Up to you. Your call. Let's do advantage. Okay. All right. Ha. Okay. I think you win. I All got right. a seven and a four, so I get a seven. I got double twos. <laughs> Jesus, man. This green one cannot you need to, win. You seriously need to go find some sage, do a fucking smudge, get those, cast those demons out of those dice. Yeah. There is, there is a thing going on there. This thing is incorrigible. Yeah, man. I'd, I'd, I'd really, really recommend doing a exorcism. Like do, do a little, get a, get a, do a seance, get a, do an exorcism on that thing. The blue one stopped demons. rolling or, first. Or uh. fully embrace the demon inside and sate him, get, feed it, and and uh, and 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 maybe that's maybe it's pissed off because you're not acknowledging that there's a demon in there. Perhaps I should talk I to know. Laura. Laura, get in touch. Mm. We know you're watching. All right. The, um, the blue one stopped stopped jiggling around first, and I was like, "Oh, of course the blue." Oh, what? <laughs> then the green one too. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, open up with the uh, the fact that, as you know, and this time I went back to it. This like my second watch, and when I take my notes, and I watch my first one un, uninterrupted, but my second watching of the episode over the weekend, I, th I I write down my notes and I turn. I often often open up chat. When I open yeah. up chat from the beginning of this episode. And I almost didn't sh close it once because it was phenomenal. This chat, chat was, was phenomenal. It was full on, full on. Hashtag open D and D. Yeah, hashtag I saw that so cancel D and D D and D Beyond. Hashtag my favorite one. Hashtag D and D be gone. <laughs> that was that was one of my favorites. I'm like, yeah, you clever fuckers. But the the chat was. Full of people putting entire paragraphs about why they have to cancel their subscription to D&D Beyond. That that's the only way that Watsi will listen. It's the only way that their voices will be heard. People yeah. really. And I'm like, I, I, it, it's, this is, this is, so I'm like, yeah, right on. Absolutely. But you're in the wrong place. This is the wrong echo chamber to be shout screaming in. Because everybody here already knows they're already aware of this. And if they're not, they're, they're they are. They all are. Nobody is nobody is unaware that's what that's nobody is tuning into Critical Role and doesn't know what the whole OGL drama is going on. They just don't. So I, I, I it made me laugh where a bunch of people were like people would be like, spam, 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 spam. And then somebody would be like, Hey guys, we know. Please stop spamming spamming the chat so we can uh, where we can enjoy this. We're all against what they're doing. Please stop. And every, all the time, this was coming up, coming up, coming up. People just be like, hey, we know, we know, please. We just want to enjoy. We like to get some information about what's going on and not, yeah. not be spammed by all this, you know, hashtag cancel D&D. &D. They do say all the time, they're like, and the live moderated chat, if you catch yes. this live, it's nothing, like, nothing they, <laughs> nothing they were doing is busy. And nothing they were doing was wrong. Uh, everything was very, very on board. Yeah, uh, it was all it was all clean. There was no racism. There was no uh, not a lot of vulgarities going on. There was just you know a lot of like, hey, Hashtag listen up, fuck Watsy or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some shit like that. Yeah. So, um, yep. what was I gonna say? Um, I wonder how long it would have taken me to learn about this shit if it wasn't mm. for you and this. You know, because yeah. I learned immediately because you said it and you were just like, hey, by the way, this is going on. I'm like, what? Yeah. You yeah. know, well, it, I just watched the show. I knew I knew it, I was in Thailand when the leak broke, when the when the Gizmodo first reported it. And I saw it when I was in Thailand and I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then I didn't really pay much attention because I was like, whatever. And then uh, when I when I got back at the beginning of January, that's when things started to really pop up on my radar. And I'm like, oh, shit, this is a this is a big deal. But it, it's interesting. So I told you like last week, 
the um watsi is is made finally made a statement and they're like yeah we're okay we're backing up a little bit <laughs> there nothing is nothing is concrete nothing is for sure as the nothing was for sure it was a draft it wasn't it wasn't you know um a declaration this wasn't actually uh the the new open gaming license it was only a draft so people re reacted accordingly but it wasn't rules as written it was just this is you know the the what the proposal was and now they back the proposal back for now mm. we'll see what happens in the future that's it we'll see i guess yeah it's I don't know. I mean, like that—that that kind of drama. Like I said mm -hmm. in that text to you. Like I—I I don't. I mean, it, it certainly affects me in my future with watching D and D and talking about it with you. It you does. Know, but, uh, There's a... For the most part, I kind of I kind of stay outside of it and I just watch from the from the bleachers. You know. It's it's there's a there's an interesting side effect that's probably if this all goes through and if it the worst case scenario happens, critical role is probably not going to be affected. The the it looks like they are going to be either immune to all of this because of their sweetheart deals or whatever the whatever you want to call them, mm -hmm. or I don't actually buy that. I don't think that 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 may be a case, but I don't think it really matters because they've been drifting away from uh, everything that Watsi is doing for a few years now. They've the their the fact that Critical Role is a basically so homebrewed, they don't use anything that that Watsi does. They're very little. They use the mechanics, and as we've learned from this drama, you can't copyright mechanics or rules. Right. That's that's not something. What you what they are what they are really trying to copyright and protect their intellectual property are the names and the images of things. So like, you know, beholders and mind flayers are Sentence the classic classes example. And subclasses? It will. It will include those sorts of things. Uh, to a degree. To a degree. You can't races you can't, or whatever species it, as they're saying now. It, we don't know. Nobody really knows until that goes to court. So that stuff is all yeah, maybe, potentially. But my you point can't is have that a critical dwarf role in your campaign. Like what are you talking about? There's dwarfs yeah, everywhere. Come on. Right, exactly. So no, no, that stuff no way. But other things, yes, because like for example, uh, no since, humans. <laughs> since the early 2000s, <laughs> nobody has been able to, to use beholders in their campaign settings because that is an exclusive copyright uh, property of Wizards of the Coast. They've owned that since the beginning. Mind Flayers is another one. There's a few, there's quite a few that you just they can't use them in other like Paizo can't use those monsters in Pathfinder. Right. So it's it's like there is intellectual property that needs to be protected i get it but critical my point is critical role has been moving away from this with their homebrew for quite a while so they're um they're probably going to be protected from it completely they don't they don't call the gods matt hasn't called the gods by their names their 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 forgotten realm names for a while he's changed them all it's sort of it's been it is. It is different. If you remember, Legend of Vox Machina, it was a drastic change for out of the 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 Everlight and the you know what it was in Campaign One. Yeah. It's not. They don't use those words anymore. So, yeah, I, I think, I think I have a theory that they, were, as the company started growing and as they started incorporating and started realizing these things, I think they saw. I think they glimpsed the writing on the wall and they realize that they need to insulate themselves from a potential thing like this by creating their own just just rolling huh. with their own homebrew and and i think they're going to be immune from rolling any nonsense that happens <laughs> <laughs> that's my own that's my own little theory based on what i my understanding and just a sort of a general perception of what's happening i think i just dated myself with that reference there mm -hmm. um um, that would be incredible foresight, you know, for Matthew to like, that, like if that was the reason why he would go into such such. Well, it may stuff, not have been. It may think... not have been all him, right? This is when you when you have a whole group of people at the table. You somebody may say, "Hey, listen, if we're going to do this, let's. Uh, what what if you know? What if they if they start doing these things? Well, we should start protecting ourselves and start yeah. moving away because this is homebrew and that's, you know, it's. It, I I I, th I don't think it was. 
I, I do think it was a conscious choice to move away because yeah. they they were sort of like glimpsing. Well, yeah, we, we just to protect ourselves and to have the, to keep all the ducks in a row here. Yeah, there's no. It's an enough. It's an. It's enough of an. Nope. It's enough <laughs> of a phenomenon. You know that. And Matthew's enough of a fucking brain. Yeah. Child. I was gonna say brain child. I'm fucking up my words here. It's enough of a phenomenon by itself to to yeah to warrant just like homebrew and sure. shit like that just sure. to, just to just to avoid copyright well, and shit like that in general you know they forget, released forget a, Wizards of the Coast and whatnot but they released a statement Critical or to Role start did. their own thing that you know could potentially be sold yep. later you know Critical Role released a statement it's quite long and it says absolutely nothing it <laughs> it really is just it's just a whole bunch of like yes we're good and we like other people and we uh, support everybody and we think the world is wonderful and roses and dandelions and yay tiptoe through the tulips here we go it's it was just sort of a yeah it's all good and we they didn't say anything about anything it was just a bunch of flowery prose but it was it was very positive and and supporting but uh i i think that that's because they do have uh dnd beyond as their sponsor and they they do work very much hand in hand. They've sub, they've pr- they've published all of these books with Watsi, like like the Taldori Guide and the and the Wild Mount and the uh, the, ri- the Rise in the Nether Deep and a bunch of other ones. All of these books that are you know they're they're yeah, it's this is a uh, it's I deep maybe the the first kind of good example of uh, a perhaps drawback of recording episodes early. That's what that's I know. It very much so. Very like, much what so. What if they were just like all about D&D Beyond? They might be alienating yep. a lot of their fans. Well, a, you know? a lot of people have been commenting on that. Why are they still doing these D&D Beyond ads at the beginning of the episodes? And, and other people in chat were like, fuckers, they, these are pre-recorded. They, they probably recorded these before or during this stuff. And they, who knows, right? We don't know. We, yeah. do, we don't know. They record the episodes about a month beforehand. Uh, the, 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 that's what the rumor is. Uh, so yeah. I don't know. Are any of these are these past few episodes even in 2023? They may have been recorded at the end of last year before Christmas break. Who knows, right? Yeah, they always like, seem we, to be confused on the four sided dive. They're like, wait, abs- did we talk about that yet? Yeah, you know, exactly. They had like two exactly. episodes further. So the, you know. the the rumor is for those in the know that they are recording a month in advance. That's what the room, the newest rumor is. It makes about. perfect sense. I mean, you know, they're they're doing that second season of Legend Box Machina, yeah. you know, yeah. and they have their own other jobs that they're doing, you know, they're, they're trying to mm-hmm. stay millionaires, you know. Totally. They're, they're probably going to totally. be busy. And yeah. I was just watching a, a, a podcast today where two things came up where um, uh, one guy said, like, uh, Argentina's doing pretty good, right? And uh, <laughs> they hadn't, the, the World Cup hadn't finished yet. Right, you know, and I was like, "Wait, right. how long ago did you fucking do this?" Uh huh. And then the show also, they they were like, "What podcast?" Okay, so we I feel record. like I just listened to that podcast. What was that? It was Two Bears One Cave. The uh, no, uh, no, no, it wasn't that one. <clears throat> and uh, it was this one's pretty fascinating. A lot of uh, doesn't matter. This is a show about D and D, or a show about a show about D and D. Um, the other one was. Uh, br- 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 they usually recorded on a certain day, you know, yeah, and then, like sure. the guest was saying that like, oh, well, you know, on this Sunday, of course, I, I, sh- I, my, uh, I, sh- uh, cut my jog short and I was like, Sunday, you're recording this on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. So they're, mm-hmm. they're clearly just like stockpiling fucking podcasts and just airing, totally. them, dropping them on the dates. You know? <clears throat> yeah. Apparently which is, which that's is what people do these days. That's what, that's what people should be doing. It makes more sense. It's sm- It's a smarter, it's a smarter move. Sure, you know. Um, I do miss the days when the things were live. I mean, it's it is more fun, but that's a hey. Twitch and shit, and it's for it's, you know, yep, 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 yep. you know. But like a podcast is a podcast. What are you gonna do? Talking about just a quick little pull back into the chat, if I can, because I will forget if I don't say it now. Do it. Uh, Robbie and uh, and uh, Abria were both in chat. Oh, uh, look at this, that. This episode, uh, Robbie <clears throat> gifted I don't know twenty people subscriptions nice yeah it was just like it was just like brrr, a whole thing oh, it's like Robbie. I, gift 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 it was a wonderful little gesture and then uh abria <laughs> came in um there's a funny one at two hours and a 15 i gotta be honest y'all maybe it's the vestigial laren in me but i love ludi 
<laughs> uh, I was like, mm, mm, hot take there. Hot take. I get <laughs> yeah. it. it. That tracks. That really tracks. Uh, speaking of which, uh, uh, the two breaks that we had... Uh, mm. Sorry, the two breaks that we had. The two times that I've watched this episode, I you know, one of the breaks, I don't watch the breaks, you know. In mm-hmm. fact, I skip them usually. Right. But this time, the break started with an Abria, Iyengar. She started talking. And the, I uh, listened to it twice. I yeah. have no idea what the fuck that is. That was, that's the new... I didn't new, see anything. That's I've, the new thing that they've got going on with D20, I believe. It's, no, hang on a sec. That's something else. Are you sure it was a? Are you sure it was a Bria? Yeah, yeah. You know, she was talking about how she has. I watched this, the this, uh, break druid. This you know, and she has a hard time making druids that do damage. But now she finally has this one oh. that does damage and gets the fuck out. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. yeah. That was a, that strunk. was a, that was one thing. One word she said that was. I remember what you're talking about. That was a D and D beyond but I have that. No idea what the fuck it was because they don't beyond. say anything. It's just a Bria talking about stuff. Yeah, you know, if you watched it, it was her using D and D beyond. Oh, okay, I'm just saying, yeah. you know, like with their ads, yeah. it's like, dude, some people have the phone in their pocket. Mm-hmm. And a lot of some people, yep. I'm, I'm, yep. I can't be alone yep. here where I don't sit down and I don't watch it on a screen, you know? Yeah, I don't. I think you might be an invisible minority on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think so. Man, it's hard to, you know, so many podcasts. How do you, mm-hmm. you know, to set the time apart? Four hours to sit down and watch something that's a, I do a lot of time. I know, yeah. but you know, you're mm-hmm. you're a little more hardcore than I am just saying Hardcore. when you're doing ads you should probably drop the name or maybe they're doing that on purpose to not drop the name yeah it could be because i till this um, moment I didn't know what it was i got a i got a couple, i got a couple more how are we doing uh we're, we're coming up pretty quick i got a p also and uh, my my things here are pretty quick rattle offs mm, let's um, do a couple let's do a couple quick ones then all right uh i have a response ah. i suppose okay um Back to the campaign. At about one fifty three fifty, an hour fifty three minutes fifty seconds. Matt, being the oh fuck, the names thing, man. I'm good at names in person, but not on the on the game. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Imogen was talking to somebody, uh, uh, and they, were, they they reluctantly let her in because she was Ruidus. Khadija Small. Okay, thank you very much. And at one point, Matt, being that character. He mm-hmm. said, like, uh, oh, and if you actually, you're getting kind of wrapped up in that stuff, maybe you should go, you know? And yeah. then Imogen responded, I'm afraid that's not an option. Yes. Very shortly after that, lewdness shows up. Right. That's right. Very shortly. Yep. And I wonder if that was Matthew giving a little bit of a warning or just a foresight if they would pick up on it. He, well, you remember when he, when he kept, he, three times, I think he was like, she looks at the door, she looks at the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks like, at the door, when she, she let she him in, she's like. Door did the thing yeah yep yep <clears throat> and then even when she was like lifting out the papers the the uh the archive uh that the bits of the archive that she stole or she she squirreled away um the dildo shaped the, key right yeah. according to sam <laughs> tell it tell it did tell the dildonic device <laughs> dildonic device <laughs> yep yeah, I love that. I love that Matt was like, I know what that means. He's like, I've never heard that word, but I instantly know what it means. And Sam's like, Well, let me tell you. Um, Travis mm, was like, I'm so sorry. You know, I, yeah, he's a smart guy, but I can so I put it together pretty quick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Anyway, um, I, I, you know, I, think, I, I couldn't help but see it the second time watching through that, like, maybe Matthew yeah. was saying that Duluth might be on her way. Or, on any, his way, or anybody. You know? I was thinking it wasn't going to be Duluth. I didn't think it would be Duluth. I was thinking it was going to be the adjudicators, the, the ju- that the adjudicators were on their way. And some, some member. Remember, re- because at that point, I believe, yeah, I believe at that point, Ashton, yes, he had. Ashton t- was started talking about how the Ruby Vanguard was being tossed around by all the criminals in the city, that everybody was talking about the Ruby Vanguard and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, well, so one of them is definitely going to break into this room and and disrupt what they're doing. Like Matt was making it very obvious that somebody is coming in. I didn't mm. did not see it being Deleth himself. <laughs> yeah. Instead That's of not, a, a fucking crony of some sort. Or something. Something. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it looks like this This kind of as, as a question for you, I suppose, if you don't mind me asking. Um, he took the rest of the archive. Does that mean he has the other parts of the archive? Oh, so like just, just getting the last puzzle piece here? He was, co- he was coming back for the rest of it, implying that he has the 
first parts of it. So he is the one, because Khadija said that the archive was stolen from them, but mm. she never said by who. And then Matt sort of implied, so I was trying to like make a connection there. I'm like, does that mean that he's got it? I think it does. I think that means that he's got the entire archive now. So he had the bits, he had the first bits of it. He, he looked through and he's like, well, this part's missing. I got to come back and get the rest of it. And that's what he was doing there was getting the rest of it. I'm going to go ahead and say that I think so, because yeah. I think a lot of shit's about to happen real fast. Oh, I do too. A week in about a week. Like you're saying, like, yeah, yeah. perhaps next week. Like, you know, this, this, no, uh, no, no, I don't think like a, a week, week in real time. time, a week yeah. in game time. Yeah. So a few more sessions. Cause like the, the solstice is coming up and I think a lot mm -hmm. of shit's going to happen. And so like, yeah, that makes sense that maybe Daleth has to show up to get this yeah. final piece. There, However, there is knowing where to get that piece, you know, I mean, well, Matthew will know, but we won't. There is no way they are in any shape, form, ready to uh, deal with a level 20. I'm assuming Deleth is level 20. I mean, they got uh, me. Wizard. It, 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 it's, it's, yeah. Also, also, let's talk about Deleth for a minute. He says, I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, I watched the world burn at their behest. Right. Talking about, that talking about rise the gods. Out of everybody. Everybody, everybody was like, "How fucking old is this?" And even e for or Imogen even says, "How old are you?" Yeah. And I started thinking about it. And that's where I was uh, at the beginning when I was joking about the um, the the Fappy Fun Ball. I, I I wonder. It it can't be because the the Happy Fun Ball, hall, the uh, folding halls of Halas, it was thrown out on Reddit as being a possibility of where he has been hiding, where he hid because time folding. He, he couldn't be old enough to have been in there. Well, maybe, maybe, right. Who knows? Maybe. But likely he wasn't. So there, there's a couple, of, there's a few options here. Yes, he is. Or no, he isn't, which means he was probably folding time somehow. Fey Realm? We know the Fey Realm has a time distortion thing. Dunamancy? It could be Dunamancy. But... But we don't know how much about Dunamancy he actually knows because he, in campaign two, he may he wasn't really that aware of what it could do. Right. Now that might have been a ruse. Stupid. That may be a. This could be Matt, you know, um, uh, retconning some stuff. Uh, it, but or or it could have been the floating halls of Halas, which we also know distorts time. So there's a few possibilities of how Deleth could have been at the part of the calamity. He could have been one of the wizards when it in Aeor, or if not Aeor, it could have been Avalir, could have been one of the other, uh, it could have been, not if, sorry, I said that backwards. If not Avalir, he could have been in Aeor, right. um, which is, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, the, all of those ideas are weird because it was Vesta Ragna who wanted to go to, who was the one that was going to Aeor to recover all of the artifacts, not him. So if he had been in Aeor, he probably would have been going there to recover or helping out or maybe, you know, I don't know, a lot of options there. So there's there's some things to think about. I don't know. It could have been, it could have been just prose. He could have been just like throwing it out there where he was like hyperbole sort of a thing, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm, there was a yeah. slight shift in timbre of matthew's voice mm. so another yes there was. theory could be maybe it wasn't the left saying that at that moment you know we're like you know we've seen it's uh, not really necessarily a theme but we've seen fcg just completely turn we've yep. seen you know uh, yep. uh chetney completely turn and maybe mm -hmm. this person is you know ruin is born and being controlled by the moon at the moment yeah. and coming back that or something you know that whole little Jekyll insight Hyde check thing. by that insight check by Ashley or Fern about if he was Rudis born and then Matt rolled and then sort of gave that little look at the at the dice and then walked over and gave yeah. the whisper. She rolled a seventeen. It, right. Was that did he was he rolling deception or persuasion? And then did he roll high enough or did he roll low enough? Right. And then you what is know. the whisper? And then what is the whisper? Is the whisper a lie or is the whisper the truth? Mm -hmm. uh, what does Ashley actually, or what does Fern actually know? You know, there's a, uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot there, a lot yeah. there, there that we don't, we don't really don't know about. A lot of speculation on that one, eh? Totally, totally. You want to rattle off a couple more before we go? Because I got to pee. We're coming up on an hour too. Yeah, let's let's. Um, 
I want to keep doing. Uh, we did advantage, right? Let's do disadvantage. Sure. sure. Disadvantage. I mean disadvantage. Hey, uh, I got. I got a four. The blue one got a nine. Ooh. And the green one got a fourteen. I mean, you know, lightning's mm. got to strike twice at some point. There you go. You're up. Um. All right. A quick one that kind of got answered in the episode was uh, Imogen. Read her thoughts. Yeah. When when they, I'm, I'm assuming feeble minded her. We when, don't when know. It, this is a weird it one. Seemed that way. I mean, like it, after, because at first I was like, oh, it's just a charm spell, but like this is like a level twenty wizard, probably. Mm. You know, whatever so, like, feeble it was. Mind with the green thread, you know, lot of lot of speculation. Feeble mind doesn't work that way. The mechanics, the mechanics of it are different. Okay. Um. It's there's a it's a it's 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 um, what <laughs> the consensus the consensus on Reddit is that uh it is NPC magic. So it's spells that PCs don't have access to. Okay, sure. You know, which I, yeah. I have to assume as a yeah. non-player that that must an, exist all the time. As a 800 plus year old level 20 wizard would do, right. create his mm -hmm. own fucking spells that no PC will ever have access to. Right. And the DM is saying like, I want this to happen. And this yes. person has a spell to make this yes. happen. Yeah. Permanently. Yeah. So feeble mind, feeble mind sort of raw it brings your it, intelligence to one but it can be cured wait does it right and yes, it yes, can be cured yes. with a greater which, restoration which right? basically i think it brings intelligence down to two not one but okay. it, it was whatever that's quite that's, as deadly as one neither here nor there basically means that you can't speak you can't you're you're basically as simple like nothing oh, but she was and she was speaking exactly yeah. so sort of the way that still simple, emoting the way that the way that simple mind is generally played, or sorry, feeble mind is generally played, is that it's it reduces you into a quivering mess of, you know, unintelligible goo. Right. Um, but that's but the way he was playing it was more like a cross between um, the, the robbing robbing of all ability to of all will, as he yeah. said, I hate robbing yeah. them of their will. Uh, but but leaving the personality and the 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 whatever is still there so it was an interesting spell we don't know we yeah. don't know so it doesn't it doesn't uh resonate necessarily with any spell that you're familiar with feeble feeble mind is the is the consensus of what it's closest to but closest but you know she still quite. was like okay here you go you know yeah, like exactly, exactly. intelligibly you know yeah and then also and with the response is like oh thank you you know like Feeble mind gets you get another save after a day. I think it's twenty four hours later, and then you get another save or something. There's a I forget. I looked at the wording it's like a of it. Month or so? Isn't it something crazy? It's a, it's I mean, a even while. a day is pretty crazy. It's a while in the, in the context of battle. Of and course. it can only be if you fail that one. It can only be restored with greater restoration, uh, something, and then wish. There's a couple of spells that that can do it. Right. Um, we'll see. We'll find out. What, we'll see what Plane Rider Rin has access to, and if she can bring it back, bring them back to their intellect. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. And I guess maybe now that you've said that, because I just assumed it was Feeble Mind, I'm like, why wouldn't you read her mind? Maybe that yeah. was uh, Laura being astute, being like, I yeah, don't know what this is, so could I'm not going to try that, because that could fuck either her or me up, you know? Mm-hmm. So maybe yeah, you know, hat hats off, Laura. Like yeah, I mean, totally. I was thinking like it's just feeble mind. Just read her mind so you can f see what she's thinking. If it's right. mush, then she's right. feeble minded mm -hmm. and no no meta gaming. But Laura would know. But Imogen, maybe she's familiar. I don't know. Could be. Could be. Or at least uh, uh, an intelligence uh, check. Yeah, yeah that's very, feeble mind. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know? a, a, an understanding of what it might be. Um, I will. I will yes end to that one with um, uh, talking about doing doing a really good job with. Um, uh, met, sort of not metagaming, but bringing, bring, so uh, Talison was away for two sessions. The way that oh, yeah. they, the way they crafted, down. the way that they crafted and Matt and him crafted the story was fucking genius. Yeah. What a, what a beautiful way to, to figure out why a PC would disappear for a couple of hours. It's like no, no, no. I saw somebody. I they made eye contact. They made me. I had to go figure out if they were there for me. Uh, and then when I told them too much, they're like, I'm, I'm like, fuck. Now they're gonna turn me in. So I have to now um, avail myself to you to do this quick job. And then the whole job goes fucking tits up. 
Yeah. Just, just, and the the way that they incorporated more information, relevant information, into that, which was which then you know meshed with what the be- the rest of the bells already had. I was just like, Mwah, chef's yeah. kiss. Well done. Well done, only, Matt and Tallison. I think there are only two people at that table, other than Matthew, of course, that would do that, and that would be Tallison and Liam. The yeah. only two that, yeah. that would have that kind of uh, like, you know what? Instead of just being gone inexplicably, right? Let's have a right. story behind let's it. Have you know? the story and the and the fun story, like sort of a weird zany story to to sort of put a little bit of icing on top of that beautiful little cake, you know, that, that one, oh, the, in, in the chef's whites or in the kitchen, there's marinara sauce and pastry and all of this shit. I'm like, yeah, it was fucking great. It was nice. It was great. Goddamn yeah, great. It was, Goddamn great. It was a wonderful, Kudos. wonderful surprise, you know, for like, for that episode to start mm-hmm, with, you know, towards mm-hmm. the, uh, the latter half, I suppose, of the first, the latter <laughs> half of the first <laughs> half, <laughs> the second quarter, if you will. Yep. 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 Yeah. That was, that was a delight. Wonderful, wonderful gamesmanship there. Beautiful gamesmanship. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Uh, I got one more. If we can do, we're gonna do a quick one. Um, do do rollies, or do you want to just rattle a couple off? Um, let me rattle this off real quick. What was Go. Sam's jug g- gag? Oh, it was the 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 DVD cover of um, uh, what what it was Fern and Chetney make a porno. But remember that remember the original movie. It was like the two. Someone, well, I, someone make a porno. Seth Rogen, wasn't it? Yeah, I Seth think. Rogen and Catherine Heigl. No, that was a different movie. That was what? pregnant, whatever. Oh yeah, 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 I know that one. Too. I remember that. It was, so it was the somebody and somebody, somebody, make, and somebody a make a porno. porno. Yeah. And then and he was it was a, it was exactly it was exactly that DVD cover with Fern and Chetney, and then he glued their faces onto the actual bodies of it. <laughs> I couldn't see that on the phone, damn it. Yeah, it was pretty Is that clever. what Matthew was laughing at? Yes. Because like, okay, because yes. I couldn't tell if he was laughing at something that somebody had said. No, they all they like... all started laughing at it, and they're like, Canon, oh, okay. that's, that's what that's what like it Sam it's... was like, oh, didn't quite register. That's what it looked like, yep. but you know, yep. hey, that's yep. what he yep. does yep. every now and then anyway. Totally. Um, Another, I... another quick one, because I really got to pee. We're over an go, hour go, go. now here too anyway. Mine are all uh, uh, sure. Advantage. Yeah. Uh, what did we do last time? Disadvantage. Disadvantage. All right, let's do advantage. Advantage. Fuck seven. God damn. Okay, the green one won, but with an eleven, and the blue one was ten. Hey, beat both. Beat both my dice. It's either you know, it's either cursed. Mm-hmm. Laura, you can get in touch if if it's cursed. You just let me know. Um, let's see. Uh. Damn it, I don't know which one of these. All right, if it's 1 through 10, I'm doing this one. 11 through 20, I'm doing that one. It's a 2, so I'm doing this one. The okay. green die, a 2. Um, Travis's reaction to Deleth saying, children always outgrow their parents. Mm-hmm. And like uh, Deleth was saying that to Imogen. Yes. Which is also Matthew t- speaking to Laura, who is also, mm-hmm. of course, Travis, I don't need to say this. And uh, Travis's reaction, I don't know if he was reacting to the fact that she has a son and if he's going to be like, oh, what do you think about that, mommy? Or if he's being uh, uh, Chetney <clears throat> and uh, or not being Chetney, but being Travis and reacting to Imogen being right, the daughter right. of her mom in the mm, game. Interesting. But it, like nobody else had know. that same reaction that he did, but he was like, children know. always outgrow their parents. And Travis was like, but she mm. can say that. Yeah. <laughs> He's the only one, mm-hmm. you know. Everyone else is just kind of like in their notes and shit. Well, it's Imogen, it's Imogen and uh, and Lilian, Liliana, Liliana. It's that's right, Liliana, it, and it's uh, it's Laura and Ronan, and it's uh, the it's the 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 mortals of Exandria and the gods of Exandria. There's a there's a there's a la- there's layers in that one. There's a that's yeah. an onion. It's that's an onion above. You know. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, that reaction was kind of a. Uh, Mm-hmm. You know, I caught it the first time as well, which is not really common for me. Yep. Um, I'm just going to throw out, I, I wrote down, what the fuck is up with that ligament manner? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with that name. And and what a beautiful, and what a beautiful place that he described. Yeah. Like, ligament manner. I was expecting something vastly different than this. I mean, it's, it's weird. What a weird idea that the forest has created a huge dome of brambles and trees and all of that. And then in the center of that dome is a giant tree. Yeah. Like what a weird idea 
really and the tree is cool. The, and the tree is completely covered in vines. Vision and then there's, pleasing in there's, the rain. There's little huts and rooms and stairways and bridges. I was like Ewok Village. That's all I was thinking about. Yep. On the on the moon of Endor, I'm like, yeah, this is blah 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 blah. Uh, and then and yeah, Ligament Manor. And then, god damn, the Fate Stitcher, Morrigan, Nana, a fucking tiki bar. What? What? <laughs> Let me show you my tiki bar. <laughs> Brilliant! I can't wait for 46. Best. Grandma. I can't wait. Yeah. That's Best right, grandma they, yeah, ever. They started right there. Uh, real quick, then, uh, because you mentioned that, did you get the Swiss Family Robinson reference? I did not. Oh, I did. Yeah, you you don't remember that the show, the Swiss Family Robinson from the seventies or eighties? Sure I saw it. Or, you know, oh, it's what they 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 um. So it's Swiss Family the graduate all the time. They it's a it's a um it was a, it was a beautiful kids movie. A Disney, I believe, it's early eighties, late seventies Disney movie. I'm pretty sure, um, where they the family gets deserted on a desert island, and they um they they build a giant treehouse with all okay. of these with it, they get running water to come okay. roaring through the okay. place and it's it's this very very elaborate uh set of things he's a he's like a inventor slash carpenter slash whatever okay. and there's a there's a mom who does that, all the stuff uh, they, he part. builds a he builds a kitchen and a dining room. The kids go out and this is this is where it gets really fucking weird. They I'm, I'm drawing from a vast I don't know where this is floating around in here, but it's somewhere up there. Make it I, quick. I'm they're on a desert. They're on a desert island and they get <laughs> a uh, an ostrich and a zebra and they race them together. They capture them and the kids race them on the beach. It makes zero sense. Zero sense. But it's yeah. Fairly yeah. certain that's what family Robinson. But that family would be in tears if they saw this. Yep. According to Matthew. According to Matthew. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I'm good. I'm good, we too. Done? I'm about to Let's burst. I don't know. Right. I'm trying to wiggle my hips instead of my your, your eyes. Body. Your eyes are filling up? Yeah. I'm about to. It's about to come out my fucking nose. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's call it then. I'm All good. All right. Let's call it then. Uh, didn't roll any see. 20s tonight. Yeah. No 20s. No ones. Hey. Uh. Y'all, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. We never say that, but you know, it would like kind of help us out to give us a give us a, a little idea, boost. You know about yeah. um. Oh, did we ever? Oh, shit, did we check fucking comments for shit from? I I did. Yeah, did? somebody oh. said somebody said welcome back. Oh, all right. Thank you, Ben, Thanks. for checking, and thank yep. you for getting in touch. Yep. Yes. Uh, we yeah, get in touch it. right here. Comments are the best way to do it, and uh, like and subscribe if you could. Uh, it's no harm, no foul, not for you. And uh, if nothing else, Ben. I'm good. All right. Don't forget to love each other. And is it finally next Friday? Mm, Legend of Vox Walker Season 2. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Peace, y'all.